everyone, welcome back to another episode with me, Belfire, and today we're back in Dyson Sphere program, and as you can see, I've added a little bit to the automation. We have the super magnetic rings, and the plasma exciter is now fully automated. The, it was slightly painful to do. No, that is not a joke. It was ve very painful, actually, to automate all of this. And get it running semi-smoothly, if you could say that. Because really, my main limiting factor right now is transportation speed of items and also just simply the basic production of items. Like right now, my limiting thing with these rings are the, is the transportation of the final product and the supplying of the magnets. Or supplying of the iron ore for the magnets, I should say. So what, am I, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to see if I can make tier 3 conveyors, which I can. Which means I need super magnetic rings. Okay, so how many do I have? Does that say 289? Well, here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 stacks of conveyors, so that means I need 9... hundred. I'll say... Nine hundred ring, or nine hundred super magnetic rings. Then I want to head back to Saddlebari One, wherever that is. It's over here. Uh, bye. Of course, I decided to leave when the orbit is. Probably the farthest apart it'll ever be. Um, almost the farthest apart. Okay. Hmm. I do want to do this, but... Ah. That means if I want to get those being produced, I need to produce these. Which means I need to automate this. Great. Okay. So, right now, I'm heading back to Salbari 3 so I can make a bunch of Tier 3 conveyors. Then, I'm going to head back to my Forge World of Salbari 4. For my... Um, so I can upgrade all the supply lines. Or the supply and return lines. And it's been a pretty long time since I've been here, so... Welcome back to Salbari 3, everyone. But let's get over to what I'm really here for. And let me guess, my oil situation's not doing too hot, right? Yep. I had a feeling. Because that's only at 0.5 a second. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, well anyway, let's head over to the chemical facilities and grab nine stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, buildings here. I can make 900. Wait. That's only three stacks. Oh, no, wait, no. I can make 900 of these recipes. I see, says the blind man. Dear Lord, my brain does not comprehend stuff sometimes and really I can't even mess with the automation for 
he or any more research because I've already researched basically everything I can, at least up to a point. Like this, I can't can't get to yet. Um, or that, or that, or that. Assembly machine Mark III, quantum printing, which requires the quantum chip, which looks painful to make. Uh, oh, it requires hydrogen. Yeah, that's slightly painful to make. Uh, do I want to fly back now while I'm crafting? Sure. Now I just need to find the cell bar four. Okay. <clears throat> Getting up to a thousand meters a second again. I do need to look into more upgrades for myself, like the power generation. Yeah, I need... So, which requires mecha core level 4, which require <laughs> No. Really? I can do everything but 500 of those. And I was slightly off target. I still have 2,000 of them to make. Wow. So, I will be upgrading every single line I have. At least all of the ore production, or all of the base production lines I'll be upgrading. So, things that supply ore or anything like that, I'll be upgrading to their maximum tier, hopefully. But the one thing I'm surprised about. I haven't accidentally used a tier 1 conveyor in on this planet once. At least not yet. <laughs> okay. Why yes, go ahead and go Sonic. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I think that's working a little bit better. Maybe just a little bit. Oh my king, this is working fantastically. Or phenomenal. Sometimes English is hard. <laughs> I don't know if I should be scared or amazed at how quickly this is moving. I think a little bit of both. If I'm going to be honest, a little bit of both. And I'm going to save the rest of the fuel. If anything, I want to start work on the hydrogen fuel rods, which means I need a source of hydrogen. <laughs> which then means I need more oil. Because how do I get hydrogen? Well... Quite simply. Crude oil. And then deuterium. But I won't get into deuterium yet. So I may need to get start the production of warpers. Which means I need deuterium in the first place. Oh, great. Okay, well there's that line upgraded. I'm trying to think what other lines need to get upgraded. Like, it's necessary for them to operate. Oh, wait. Um, this line here. This line here. I said all of the... Um, or... Or all of the ingot lines is what I said. Or th the supply lines. That's the word I'm looking for. Supply, supply, supply. Three supply lines. That's already upgraded. 
And this is not upgraded yet. There we go. Just making sure I have enough. Okay. Okay, so I'm basically out of upgrade material. Nice. Very nice. Upgrade in all of the supply lines. Oh dear. So there are resources I don't have coming to this planet, but there are is a reason for that it's because I didn't think I'll need them here that's the whole reason why I don't have things like uh, graphene or carbon nanotubes coming here I didn't think I'd need them oh how wrong was I I actually need them quite a lot. Uh, excuse me? There's not an upgraded smelter, is there? The plain smelter. Smelting facility. When mo monopoles pass through the plain filter, they produce... The... Of course. Of course, there is a better one that I wasn't aware of until just now. Okay. Do I need to upgrade these? Technically, no. Will I? To be safe, yes. Okay, I'm done upgrading, for now at least. Maybe. Actually, no, wait, this one also... This one needs to be upgraded. Yes, this is the Dyson Spear... Um, thing. Like, right now, all I can do is build... On it. Like this. Now the only problem is I don't have any rockets. Interesting. Okay, I'll stop messing with this for now. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take the this line, upgrade it, hope fully, thankfully. Then also this line and that line. Upgrade all of those fully because what those supply is this. And outside of my build range, right? Okay. Well, looks like I'll have to do this more manually than I wanted. Okay, so to here. Oh, okay, well, that's all I have for right now. Yay. But, anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue, or 
So what I what I've done off camera is I wrote down a list of what I need to automate. If it's something like the pro uh, particle broadband, I've looked up how to automate, or I've gotten stuff to automate. One more, let me try that again. I've set up blueprints I can use for the automation of that. There we go. That's how you say it. So, like for example, these need silicone, high purity silicon, and copper ingots. So what I would do is I would go to here. So high purity silicone and copper ingots, that's double resource. Let me rotate that 180 and line it up right here. Need foundational support. Dang it. Well, looks like we're heading back to Saddlebari 1 because I need to get some... Uh, oh, where is Saddlebari 1? Saddlebari 3, my bad. Wish I could name the planets. I can't, though. Just speeding up again. So what I need to do is I need to pick need to pick up some foundation. Because the one thing I managed to forget is the one thing I need. Of course. But anyway. Oh yeah, I still need to automate those. So basically what I'm planning to do is automate every single item in the game. Automate the production and export of every single item. And yes, that does include base tier items also. Like, sorters. I'm planning to fully automate those. Of course, all of this will be probably on Salbari 1. Just simply because of the whole fact that I need a lot of to automate certain things. What am I doing? What am I grabbing again? Oh, foundations. That's right. I can't believe I forgot what I was grabbing. And I'm not in the slightest bit worried for dirt. Considering I have 1.39 million I think I'm good on dirt, at least for now. But let me go ahead and grab some more gra energetic graphite. And then head to a charger, which I think the only charger on this planet's over here. It's my largest charger is here. A three by three of wireless power towers. Say that three five times fast. Yeah, like, for example, this is just... That's sad. That is very sad. I'm going to say it like it is. How slowly those are being produced is slightly sad. And open those all the way up. And check on you. Okay. So technically I have enough for more towers. I'll take 300. Because I'm pro almost producing everything. Um, uh, by towers I mean these. I'm producing steel. I'm producing titanium. I'm just not producing the processors yet. I'm going to get to that as soon as I get back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then back to Saddlebari four. Or the Forge World. Probably the first of many to come. Am I just blind? There's Saddlebari one. Ah, Saddlebari four. The reason I say I'll probably have to go to another planet 
or if I haven't said that, I'll probably have to go to another planet. Just simply because I am running low on resources in the system. By that, I mean... I'm running low-ish, eh, low-ish on iron. And crude oil. As of right now. But with the more things I automate, the quicker my resources drain, and it's a chain effect. Like right now, the one resource I don't believe I'm draining at, or very little of, is actually silicon. And I think... No, wait, this is, n this is exactly where I need to be. I mean, in all reality, I'm just, act I'm going to do this so I can see where exactly the grid changes. Because knowing where the grid changes while you're planning out a structure like I'm building is rather important. And I'm just going to do this all the way down. And there we go. In as straight of a line as I tried to get. I didn't try very hard. Okay, anyway. Let me go. Since this is the same. All the way down by the looks of it. So you are producing these. I am actually going to see what these can go into. Okay, they can only go into processors. Good to know. So I'm not going to waste resources in trying to send those into a tower. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them come out and around, all the way around. And this is my emergency charger, in case I need it. And what, oh dear. Okay, that's not good. I am finally running low on power. It's totally not like I have most of the plan planet gift wrapped in, or not most, some of the planet gift wrapped in wind turbines. Totally not like I don't have, totally not, I totally don't have that. That was very difficult for me to say for some reason. That should hopefully be enough power. Yeah, I'm I'm struggling for power right now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do as soon as I start automating the actual components of the Dyson Sphere. Get stuff like that fixed. Because I can't really work with stuff like that. Or with problems like that. Okay, there we go. Then all of the power towers need to be placed. This is really not good that I'm running low on power on my forge world. But look where we are. I mean, I could probably get away with using solar panels, but that's something else I'd need to make. And I, I have all the resources I need to make it. I just don't have the automation steps. I don't have it automated. If that makes any sense, I doubt it does. Okay, so then control V again.
Yeah. Yes. But this line I'll get rid of so I can have this go here, here, and then all the way down and up. Because these are used in only one recipe. So it doesn't make a lot of sense for something that's used in one recipe to go into a tower, then out of a tower, out of a interstellar stellar or planetary logistics station. Doesn't make a lot doesn't make a lot of sense, at least in my mind. So just can get those two, throw all of that in. And don't tell me I messed up my conveyor right here. Excuse me? Input failure. I hope that's the only one like that. But you don't have that input failure. Interesting. Okay. So just run this around. Like that. So you need circuit boards and these. Okay. So... I need to find my tower that's up. You're outputting the silicone. Okay. Or silicon, however you want to say it. High purity silicone. And the one thing I refuse to move is my power towers just simply because it's a... Once you find the perfect spot for them, you don't really want to move them. I know from experience. Yes, this does need to be upgraded. No, I'm not going to upgrade them now. Okay, so now that I have that, let me go like that so I have a little bit extra space so I can go and grab my grab copper, which is from you. So, now that I have copper, or know where my copper is coming from, I can bring it down. And because I'm feeling... Okay, and I know exactly how I'm going to fix this or get this to go all the way down. I've already done it once, and I actually quite like how it turned out, so I'll be using it again. And basically, as long as you follow the pattern, there's really no way to mess it up. Un unless you make a very silly mistake. I don't know what that mis mistake could be, but as long as you don't make it, you'll do fine. Hmm. And then I need to find which tower's taking my circuit boards. You found it. Okay, so now, <laughs> of course I can't fly, because the whole no power situation. But, what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to put in, put a interstellar... Wish I could put it there. I'll put it here, since this is actually a perfect spot to put it. Throw in, um, 50 drones the usual copper plates local demand then 
with that, I will take copper plates out. Then, copper plates in. And as for this... And that can just simply go straight in. Then with this one... can also go straight in. And then the processor. And if I set up all of my automation correctly, I didn't set up all of my automation correctly. Because I don't need copper because I need circuit boards. Great! Local demand. And bring this all the way down again to there. That would explain why I wasn't producing anything. Oh dear. At least they can't really hide, which is a good thing. still have 10 things? Really? Well, there's one. Three. There's another. Whatever it is, they, I'm, I don't think I'll be too upset if I lose it. Okay, so now I have the processors uh, going, but... Um, that's going to be painful to make, I can already tell. Just simply because of the whole carbon nanotubes. Because carbon nanotubes, I'd have to most likely produce off-world. Really? Huh. Carbon nanotubes can be used as energy. But I'm more interested in the hydrogen fuel rods. But I'm going to have to colo colonize another planet. I've made a very big mistake for the second time. Dear Lord. And yes, I just saw it. I know it's a very big one. I got rid of the wrong thing. Okay. And let me bring it up all the way. And then... I cannot believe I messed up that bad. I mean, I even got the supply tower for it. I thought that should have at least given me a slight hint. 
but nope. Oh boy. But anyway, let me just fix this up real quick. It shouldn't take all that long because I thankfully missed some. Good. And now, there we go. Now we should have a bunch of these being produced. Which, by the looks of it, it is good. Very good. Okay. Just making sure I couldn't upgrade them. And then they go up here to get turned into processors and so on and so forth. And I don't need to explain it. But it goes up into the up into the tower to be used for any other project I need it to be. But unfortunately, I'm all out of time for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that amazing stuff, and I will see all of you in the, in the next episode. Bye, guys!